Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's explore more of Regal Beach. I wonder what I should do next. I probably should go over and get as many moves as I possibly can for, you know, the sake of getting all the moves to get and progress in this place. By the way, you can't go in there without being a mouse, so I'm gonna transform via Mumbo later. But what I'm going to do it. Did I take a wrong path here? I want to go back up to that uh, higher area to get another move so I can traverse these <laughs> slippery slopes of this game. Because I think that will be something very handy for traveling and speeding around as well. Which will speed up the pace of this walkthrough quite a bit. And here we are! Hey, Bazai, how's it going? Yup! <laughs> Notice that all the characters talk in caps lock too, so for all we know, they're shouting at each other all the time. <laughs> and now we have the Talon Trot! Of which we can use to go up that slope right behind them that we slid down before. So, L button! R button! And you're a lot faster when you're using this as well, so I'll take advantage of that. And boy, this guy looks familiar! <laughs> Gotta love the dialogue in Banjo-Kazooie games. This I think I can do. They both have the same voice. <laughs> Alright, let's feed him. <laughs> so many tasks we gotta do, so little time. Okay, we have all the time in the world because we have unlimited upload time, but still. <laughs> There's a Jinjo over here. This is a really nice uh, structure here, I have to say. You can go all the way around it. There's a little hollow honeycomb there, very nice. And let's go inside. It's another slide mini game. This one's a little bit trickier though, but it, the concept is the same. Just collect the things you need to collect and dodge everything else. Oh crappers! <laughs> oh crappers! That's not good. That's not good. Will I be able to get enough in time before we reach the end of the slide? Yes. Woo! Just a quick little mini game, and you get pooped out this cave here. <laughs> Another suggestive moment, and we get this jiggy. And you'll notice you can't go back through this cave here. It's actually um, it plops you out over here, way, way, way back on the side of the beach. Remember where that that ghost pirate was? Yeah, he was. Or, wait, actually, am I on the left side or the right side? <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm all disoriented, dang it. I'm gonna get myself another move, because I'm so frazzled. <laughs> you notice that the uh, Bazai is quite cross-eyed, and Kazooie's cruelness is picking fun at that. <laughs> he was saying something? Oh, wait, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> he apparently was talking. <laughs> and this I shall do so. Oh, by the way, I, I didn't really show this before. Um, if you talk to him again, he'll give you a refresher course. <laughs> a little sarcasm there back at Kazooie. So this is basically your uh, feather flap slash hover jump sort of dealio. Oh yeah, we are on the right side here, okay. So you jump, you press the A button in midair, it's just like that. Very, very simple. Or, uh, I, I thought you could hold the button. Why am I thinking you could hold the button? I don't know. Maybe I just moved by instinct or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to move around 
And these guys are shrapnels, they are mines, they hurt you. In fact, they t take off two of your health. So be very careful with them. Jinjo! And I need to get up towards that jiggy. And to do that, I gotta do a perspective platforming segment here. Please tell me I'm at the right spot. There we go. Yes, okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this game's perspective after all. Probably not really. <laughs> In all honesty. Uh, I think there's some bubbles. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. There's some bubbles. Some, some bubbles in the water that you can use to uh, dive under somewhere. Uh, that's back to the quarry. I'm not gonna transform just yet. I'm gonna do that last. Um, just wanna get all the shells because there's a guy over here. Wait, actually, maybe I should show his dialogue before I get all the shells, just for the sake of showing as much stuff as I can. I guess he's the uh, cleanup guy, or of sorts, even though he's got a shell sign over there. But I would think a shell collector would want, you know, shells one would consider beautiful. But he, he, he apparently wants unsightly blue shells, so... <laughs> <laughs> and there's the fifth one. That was rather easy, actually. They were all on my path. There was... None of them was... Like... I mean, none of them were hidden... Anywhere. They were just... There. You couldn't miss them if you were exploring this beach. <laughs> one Piece Jigsaw Puzzle. Yeah! Someone definitely hit the easy button with this one. <laughs> Could you imagine having a jigsaw puzzle just one piece? Just open the box. Oh, it's done. <laughs> that would be more like a, a portrait on the wall, like some sort of gimmick dealio thing, so to speak. Uh, if you go around this edge, there's a couple of notes, but not really all that much, but you still need to go over there for the notes. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Why? Oh, 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 hello there. Sure, why not? Yeah, he's got flippers. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. But an irritating shiny thing just might be exactly what we need. I'll leave those notes there when I get back so I remember which path I'm taking here. There's the bubbly spot. I don't believe that bubbly spot is there until you talk to the dolphin there. Alright, so now we're underwater. You don't really have to follow close by. You can just explore this area as you go and I do recommend you do that because uh, once you reach the end of this area you can just press the R button to go back to the surface happily. Uh, just stay at a decent pace though because you know you've still got air to worry about and whatnot. Ah, uh, this coral, you just gotta go through the holes. There's its perspective thing at times as well. You'll see what I mean as we go, but it's not that big of a deal. You just kinda have to feel your way around the place. Like it looks like you can go underneath these arches, but they're not really all that archy. You just go right over them. It's another perspective thing. I just thought I would point that out. That kind of fooled me if my first run through here. Just make sure you don't miss anything. You don't want to miss stuff in these underwater areas because it's not like they are a place that you would think about going back to later if you end up missing something, uh, so to speak. Um, hello, honeycomb. Delightful. Okay, let's move on. Swim through this hole. Perspective. There we go. <laughs> Must get to the air before we drown. And you'll notice that they can't descend the shrapnel enemies there. So don't worry about that too much. Oh, oh look at that, look at that. Look, oh, yep, it's a jiggy. <laughs> I think... Yeah, you can go inside here. Oh, I'm running low on air. Oh, crappers. Oh, crappers. Get out. Our button, our button. <laughs> that worked out. It's all cleared. No worries whatsoever. I am sure I'm going to see the game over screen a bunch of times in this game because it gets uh, pretty tricky later on, but for now I'm going to try to avoid it as best I can. Game overs in this game are 
It's just not really all that punishing. Whenever you die, you end up going back to the last um, checkpoint that you were at, and by checkpoint I mean last transition, like a door, uh, a building, like whenever you move from place to place, those kinds of places. Like if I were to die after going inside this cave, I would end up being back right at this cave, just like so. And what are my totals? Oops, <laughs> I was already on the totals. Somehow. Uh, let's see... I think... I think I should try transforming now? Maybe? Because I don't think there's any more stuff around here. What do you have to say, Jinjo Oracle? Hmm, that actually sounds like a benefit to them. <laughs> Yeah, I think I cleared out all this, so time to transform into a mouse. Ah, Wait, there we go. Yes, I would, please. I hope I didn't miss anything. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Although they might all be in uh, the upcoming area. Disco power! Woo! Never underestimate the power of dance. And that pfft, just ran right into the enemy. Okay, now you can go in here. This is Quarry Heights. Get all the notes you can. And also save the Brigals by chomping on their chains. You can apparently bite the chains right off. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dang you. This could be the time I'll get that game over. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if there's health in this area, actually. Come to think of it. Hmm. I'm bound to run into something with my recklessness. Oh! There we go. And go back around. I heard a Jinjo. Where? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna lead you there, and I'm gonna get the Jinjo you... Please don't kill me after the cutscene. Because <laughs> I'm frozen in place. Voila! Go, 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 go! Uh, let's see here, don't want to miss a thing. I just came from that bridge. Okay, I think that's cleared out. You can't jump down here despite how it looks. It's kind of weird like that. And I got all the notes! I guess the rest of the stuff is in this area. And chumpy chump! I think that's all of them. Five, five isn't all of them, really? There's more of you? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> and once you rescue them all, this one will give you a jiggy. How about a jiggy, please? Jiggy. A jiggy jiggy. And this leads right back out. Are you so grateful you'll give me a jiggy? Yeah, that was pretty obvious. There's eight, and over here is... Oh, you can't jump up there because the mouse... The mouse form can't jump that high, dang it. Back to Mumbo! <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I can go back to the uh, Jinjo Oracle. And, well, what the heck am I missing here? Because there's one Jiggy over here by the Jinjo Oracle. Um, this is for the next level he's giving you a tip on. Okay. But yeah, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing here. Got all... Got a everything except for one Jiggy. Huh. <laughs> what? And I got all the notes, so it's not like I didn't explore the whole area. Did I forget to pick up a Jiggy by the, um, shell guy? Yeah, you. Well, I never. 
maybe I forgot a Jiggy on a high post somewhere? Oh, come on! <laughs> where could a Jiggy be? If I was a Jiggy, where would I be? Probably in a very hidden spot, as that's kind of their nature. Come on, I 100%ed this game before, and I can do it again. <laughs> what was... Oh, this was the, uh... The dock that had the... Ghost pirate. Oh, pfft. Just landed right on the shrapnel. And this was back over... Yeah, this is the cave that... Oh! This is the mini-game! How could I forget about that? And... This is definitely where the last Jiggy is. Sure, bring it on! Sounds easy enough. Even though it's kind of not. <laughs> Hint. Shoot as much as you can. Well, whatever there's guys around you. Oh geez. And they can also steal the treasure from behind you as can you. Yeah. I'm gonna stay on this side if you don't mind. <laughs> the longer you hold the treasure, the better off you are because of the fact that that is a part of the game and you need to be the one to hold it the longest. And they are doing a terrible job. Maybe it's the later ones of this sort of game that are much harder than this because I don't remember them being this easy to keep away from you. <laughs> Even if I lost the treasure now, I would still have no trouble beating this game because I held it on for far longer than anyone has. In fact, I think I took up more than 50% of the time. <laughs> And it automatically gets flopped over to you. And there is the last Jiggy of the level. Woohoo! Be proud of yourself, and now you can leave this level. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that, because that because I ended up getting pooped out the cave above that cave, and for some reason I overlooked it. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's fine. That sort of stuff happens at times. Anyway. I can exit this place, and while I do that, I will bid you farewell with my usual outro. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go to the next level. And it's gonna be stinky.